Welcome guys to a special video here on the Man United Daily YouTube channel and as you guys are probably aware now that um, in the last hour or so the club has announced officially that um, we've parted ways with Louis van Gaal and obviously I think they the club are officially on the line that they will be announcing a successor a pretty time soon. I think all of us can guess who that will be, but I'll talk about that in uh, a couple of minutes after I just want to reflect on Lou Van Gaal's reign at United. Um, you know, when we first announced him, obviously we were very interested to see um, his coaching style, his philosophy, um, hint, hint, probably the last use of that word. Um, and obviously... The performance at the World Cup was out of this world. I mean, um, playing three-five-two with the Netherlands and how, how over the, uh, overcame Spain, and then going all, way, all the way to third place. We thought, oh my God, um, we are on to something very, very special again at United. But um, on a pre-season tour as well, went very well. But I think it began to sort of like not, uh, broke down at the letter. City match you know when we lost 3-5 basically and it was um, yeah from that point on the, the, the football obviously Lou Van Gaal learned that English football is susceptible to bigger teams falling a lot easily uh, compared to smaller teams or you know back then Leicester obviously just coming up so I have to take that in a bit of context now um, but yeah after that I think the football did become a lot more controlled a lot more measured and obviously that took away a, a lot of the enjoyment out of it and obviously towards the end of his first season we on we went on to that amazing run to finish fourth um but the next campaign the last campaign didn't go too well either I mean um, Champions League yes we got through but obviously the scoop stages were an absolute disaster and during the season it got to a point where, you know, you can basically read what exactly what's going to happen at a United match. Loads of possession, slow build up, one or two chances and a lot of one nil wins. If we can't get the chance or, you know, couldn't convert, then it'll be a nil nil or a loss for United. So <clears throat> all very simplified, but that's how it became really watching United because it became a bit of a, a labour uh to watch United, you know, and um, it, it became a chore, frankly. But, um, you know, never uh, saying that, um, we have a lot of things to thank Lou Van Gaal for. Um, one, I think, is the defensive structure that he's brought to the team. I mean, we had the best defensive, um, you know, record last season. And again, it's just down to a lot of the structure that teams build on. Obviously, that has been counteracted with the attacking side of the team but um, a lot of players has developed under him especially Smalling um, De Gea you could argue as well Daily Blind another surprise so a lot of defensive quality has to be put down onto Lou Van Gaal and building on that he has left a fantastic foundation for a successor um, obviously Yes, you could argue that it could be a lot better, but it is a lot better than what um, Sir Alex left for David Moyes and what David Moyes subsequently left for Lou Van Gaal. So the next manager will have the benefit of the defensive drills and nows that the team has now had under Lou Van Gaal's tutelage. And, you know, they'll take on to a new level. Um, but um, the other thing I think is the youngsters who has, you know, come through the system and been promoted as per Louis van Gaal's way. And obviously the, the, the signing of Martial, which came out of the blue, really, um, we have to thank him for that. I mean, he, he scouted him, obviously, and we, we have a real talent in our hands. So there's a lot of positive to look on. And of course, the man himself is just an absolute maverick and, you know, provides a lot of laughs. Um, the, I think the highlight probably is that end of speech, uh, dinner speech, um, you know, last season or two seasons ago now, uh, where he absolutely went on one and probably a bit, you know, a bit tipsy on a red wine, but um, absolute fantastic memories. As a man, you couldn't doubt him. Absolutely wonderful t entertainer and entertainment provided to us but on the footballing side probably a bit let down um, just because of the rigidity but like I said there are all, uh, numerous things that we can thank him for um, so you know happy retirement Lou and I hope you enjoy your Portuguese paradise and you know I can't 
finish this video without mentioning successor even though it hasn't been announced um you can put your house everything you have on um the bet that it will be jose Mourinho, who's gonna be um you know the next manchester united manager still weird for me to say it even though after all these years you know when we first saw him in that porto game running down the touchline we all thought I don't know, I had some sort of weird feeling that one day he will become our manager. It's easy to say that, I know, but it's all like a cocksure arrogance that you don't really get with other managers that they thought, bloody hell, if we got this guy, you know, he would probably be big enough and have the ego to fill Selleck's boots one day. And, you know, sure enough, it probably will come. Um, I think the announcement will be tomorrow now, given that... Um, the clubs all like waited this long into the night um, to let Louis van Gaal leave the country basically and you know obviously dodging the reporters and that so um, all respect for Louis like I said um, a lot of positive things but um, I'm looking forward to what Jose Mourinho does with United obviously hopefully bringing up that fast attacking football back into the club um, and you know there's a lot of criticisms about parking a bus bringing through youngsters but I think who have enough now some knowledge now and been told by the club hierarchy they need to keep to certain club traditions such as you know having a youngster in every squad since 1937 um, but obviously he'll bring his own uh, DNA into the club as well and I'm bloody excited to see how United shape up transfer deals Oh my God, it's going to be an absolute barnstorm of a summer and hopefully, you know, we have a lot of success and, you know, we're going to be back at that place under Surlex where we probably the most hated team again and it's a good place to be. Um, so I'm very, very excited to see what happens at the club this summer and yeah, I'm sure you guys are too. So again, fantastic uh, news in that regard to the successor but again um it's sad to see Leo van Gaal go you know just a couple of days after the FA Cup but I think we all agree that um, the change was needed um so what do you guys make of this news obviously it was probably the worst kept secret really given the leaks on Saturday night unfortunately and yeah so just leave them a comment a bit below on what you guys make of this story is Mourinho your first choice successor, even though, you know, there is limited options, basically. Um, but again, yeah, leave a comment below on any of topics and I'll try to get back to you. Um, you can follow me on Twitter as well at Man United Daily or visit the site at manunitedaily.com. You can also shoot me an email at manunitedaily at gmail.com. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.